Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. I just realized I forgot to mute the TV so hopefully you don't hear that too much. So I'm really sorry and I'm sorry with like craziness. I decided that today I was going to finally start using our gym in our complex. So um, yeah I look like this. Um, yeah so this is a weekly wrap up I have about five books to share with you. It's really kind of like four, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, I'm going to start with the book that I just recently hauled, but I don't plan on hauling any more books after all of these being my unread books now. So um, I'm just going to share it now, and that is Sever by Lauren Stefano. I found this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I just got with her from Jed from Reading with Pugs. So I decided that I would pick this up so that way I at least had the first and the third book. So now I just need the second one. So that's that. The book that I am kind of currently reading is because I decided, hey, I'm going to start going to the gym. I was like, I should read audiobooks because I feel like I will get nauseous working out and reading a physical book. Which might not be true because I don't get car sickness. I could read in the car, so maybe I could walk and read at the same time. We'll see. But I started the audiobook for Three Wishes by Leanne Moriarty. This is my first audiobook. I got this, like, um, app from my library, and you can listen to audiobooks, and this is on there. So I figured instead, just in case this whole gym thing doesn't work out, I can still finish the book. Um, I listened for a half an hour, and I'm only 18 pages in, so that's great. Um, it's an 11-hour thing. Um, so far, I find it interesting because I've never done an audiobook, so I can't tell if I'm really getting everything out of it. And it's hard because the woman has, like, an accent, I believe. she. It's like an English accent, but I thought most of Liam Moriarty's books take place in Australia. So... I'm a little confused by that, but we'll see. Um, the first book that I did read this week was the first book um, in this bind up, which is Chain Letter. This has Chain Letter and Ancient Evil in it by Christopher Pike. I read the first book, which was like really short. I think it was a little over 200 pages. And I gave it three stars. It's about this, these people that did something bad over one summer. And the next summer, they receive this chain letter, and it's like, if you, you have to do this, and then pass it on, and if you don't do this, you're going to get hurt, um, kind of thing. It's kind of interesting. It was really weird. There's a, uh, this is the book that my mom actually read before me, um, and she didn't really like it, because there's a lot of characters, and it's hard to keep up with. He's dating her, but he really likes her, and, like... It's kind of confusing in that regards, and it's a little weird, and at the end, it just kind of seemed, like, weird. Like, it was, like, a really long chapter, and I just felt like I didn't understand why stuff was happening. Um, well, I didn't not understand it. It was just kind of, like, by the end of it, I was just, like, bored of it, and I just didn't want to keep reading. So I didn't go straight to Ancient Evil. Um, I just stuck with Chain Letters, and I gave that one three stars. And then after that, I switched over to The Winner's Cry by Marie Rodkowski. This is the sequel to um, The Winner's Curse. And I gave this book four stars. This book was worse, in my opinion, than the, uh, the first book. Um, even though I gave the first book four stars as well. I just felt like this one was really, really slow. And I couldn't get into this one as much as I got into the other one. Like, this took me three days to read. And you know me. I'm a pretty quick reader. Like, granted, I didn't have, like, tons of downtime. Um, because, like, I went home this weekend and stuff. But, like, it took me way longer than it should have to finish. I will still continue the series, though. Uh, and then because that book took me three days, I decided I was going to read a book that was going to be fast. So I picked up Ferris by, um, Mar I called her the wrong thing before, Marissa Meyer. And this is like the novella to um, the Cinder series. There's four of them. Um, and I figured this would get me excited for winter, which comes out in November. So I am super excited for winter. But I also gave this three stars. This wasn't, like, because it was bad. It's just I don't read novellas. So I don't 
think that it's super amazing enough to get a five star because it's literally only a snippet in time. So I wasn't, go I don't think novellas deserve five stars, but it wasn't bad, so that's why I gave it three stars. I still don't like Lavana. Lavana still is awful, but <laughs> it didn't make me feel bad for her whatsoever. And then I picked up From What I Remember by Stacey Kramer and Valerie Thomas. I had no idea what this book was about going into it. It was one of the books that I got from Jen. And I read the back, and it kind of showed, like, four snippets of Friends. And I thought this was kind of like a spring break kind of thing because it was, like, the, t the very first one is what got me. Kylie, Mexico, what a nightmare. I should be putting the finishing touches on my valedictorian speech. Graduation is today. Wait, is that a wedding band on my finger? So it just got me really excited to read it. I gave it four stars. I thought it was really fun. Um, all the chapters start with, like, a quote from a movie. Um, so I thought that was really cool. And so what this is about is these two characters that aren't usually kind of friendly. Something happens like two days before graduation that kind of gets them taken to Mexico. And then like there are other friends that kind of are involved and that kind of almost have to save them. And it just, it was just really fun. Don't read, um, uh, Goodreads reviews apparently because uh, it can mess your reading up. Um, I, I was reading a review while I kind of was starting it, and somebody said, they say K, way too much, and, like, I hadn't noticed it, I was already 100 pages in, and then I started noticing it, and I was like, oh my god, they need to stop saying K, so that was a little obnoxious, but I thought it was really, really fun, especially for YA contemporary, and I don't usually like YA contemporaries, I thought it was really fun, so I would definitely recommend this one. And then why I said four kind of five is I went back and I finished Ancient Evil because I figured if I don't finish it, it's going to be a long time before I finally pick it up and read it. So I decided to read it. I also gave it three stars. I wasn't sure how he could make a sequel. Um, so I'm kind of glad that it's just a duology but because I wasn't even sure how he could make a sequel out of the first one. And then he did. And it was kind of more engaging. I stayed more engaged in this one. But I just felt like we could have done without it, if that makes any sense. I kind of liked the ending. It was kind of cool, and it kind of had a message to it. So it was kind of nice, but I still gave it three stars because I'm not really crazy about this duology at all. So at least it's finished. That's all I can say. So that is my weekly wrap-up for you. I hope you enjoyed. If you did not, check out my video yesterday for my three-year anniversary.